subtraction by borrowing. Starry, see, I have got one string of ten beads with me and also five loose beads. It means I have got one tens and five unit beads. Can you tell me, Starry, if we take out the beads from the string, then how many loose beads do we get? Yes, we get. 15 beads altogether. So, we can say that 110, 5 units is equal to 15 units. To these 15 loose beads, let me add 2 strings of 10 beads. So, how many beads do we have now? Yes, we have 2 tens. 15 units beads. If we make a string of 10 beads again, then we get 3 tens, 5 units. So we can say that 3 tens, 5 units is same as 2 tens, 15 units. Did you understand, Starry? We are learning. To untie the tens here, that is, convert tens into tens and units. Okay, Starry, look at this picture and write the proper number in the boxes. There are two strings of ten beads and four loose beads. So, we have two tens. 4 units. Look at the next picture. Here there is one string of 10 beads and 14 loose beads. So we have 1 10, 14 units. In both the cases, the number of beads is the same. So 2 tens, 4 units is equal to 1 10. 14 units. Using the above method of untying tens, we shall now learn to do subtraction by borrowing. Look, Starry, we have got three strings of 10 flowers each and three more flowers. Out of these, we have to give seven flowers to ma'am tomorrow for the decorations. Can you tell me how many flowers will be left with us? Hey Starry, what happened? Oh, we have only three loose flowers. We cannot give seven flowers out of three. So, we will have to take out flowers from one string. So now we get two strings of 10 flowers and 13 loose flowers. From 13 loose flowers, we will give seven flowers to ma'am. So we have six flowers left. Two strings of 10 flowers remain as it is. So we have 26 flowers left. Remember, Starry, it is sufficient to untie 110 when we cannot subtract the units from the units. Let us now solve this example. 61 minus 9. Let us first write the numbers in proper columns. Can we subtract 9 units from 1 unit? No. So, we shall untie 6 tens into 5 tens, 10 units. Now, carry 10 units to 1 unit. 
we get a total of 11 units. Now, Starry, we shall subtract 9 units from 11 units. What is the answer? Yes, 2 units. Write 5 tens as it is in the tens place of the answer. So, Starry, 61 minus 9 is equal to 52. Here's the next example, Starry. Subtract 6 from 45. How will you solve this example, Starry? Yes, we shall borrow 110 from 4 tens and add it to 5 units. So now we have 3 tens, 15 units minus 6 units. Subtracting 6 units from 15 units, we get 9 units. We write 3 in the tens place of the answer as it is. So, 45 minus 6 equals 39. In the next example, subtract 25 from 43. First, let us arrange the numbers vertically. What are you looking at, Starry? Yes, here we have to subtract a two-digit number from a two-digit number. But the method is the same. Borrow 110 from 4 tens. We get 3 tens, 13 units, minus 2 tens, 5 units. Will you do the subtraction now, Starry? Yes, 13 units minus 5 units is equal to 8 units. 3 tens minus 2 tens is equal to 110. Therefore, 43 minus 25 equals 18. Here's the next example, Starry. Subtract 50 minus 34. Here we have to subtract 4 units from 0 units. Can we solve this, Starry? No. So, what should we do? Yes, we shall carry 110 from 5 tens to 0 units. So, we get 4 tens, 10 units minus 3 tens, 4 units. Now, we shall subtract 4 units from 10 units. We get 6 units. On subtracting the tens, we get 4 tens minus 3 tens is equal to 110. So, Starry, 50 minus 34 equals 16. Here's a similar example, Starry. Solve 70 minus 19. Yes, Starry. Here also we borrow 110 from 7 tens. So we get 6 tens, 10 units. Now we shall subtract 9 units from 10 units. The answer is 1 unit. What will be the next step, Starry? Yes, subtract the digits in the tens place. So, 6 minus 1 is equal to 5. Thus, 70 minus 19 gives 51. Here's the last example, Starry. Subtract 85 minus 58. We have already arranged the numbers vertically, Starry. 
How many tens shall we borrow, Starry? Yes, we borrow one ten from eight tens and add it to five units. So we get a total of fifteen units. How many tens are left? Only seven tens. We subtract eight units from fifteen units. Seven units remain. Now we subtract five tens from seven tens. Two tens are left. So two tens, seven units, is same as twenty-seven. So eighty-five minus fifty-eight gives twenty-seven. Starry, note that. When we borrow one ten, we should make changes in both the units and the tens.